The camera in Visualize is used for more than just framing the render. The camera can also be used to add visual impact, such as with camera filters, and allow the user to select only a section to render, which makes updating previous renders with new model changes fast and easy. Filters can be added from the camera panel and then adjusted with the post-processing options in the camera tab. A bloom effect can be added to give the appearance of glowing, and depth of field can be enabled to further increase the photo quality. As a final option, the Render Region option highlights only a small section of the image to render. This lesson will go over how to use filters and the post-processing options, add bloom and depth of field to a render, and use the Render Region option. As a note, the post-processing bloom and render options are only available in Visualize Professional, while the depth of field and filters are available in Visualize Standard. The model shown here has all its appearances applied, its scene set up, and the camera positioned. Before rendering it out, there are a few more camera options that can be applied to add effects to the renders. The first and easiest way to add effects is by using the preset camera filters included in Visualize. To apply one, I'll go to the View menu and enable Show Camera Panel. In the bottom half of the panel, there are six filters. I'll select the Boost filter to apply it to the camera, and the effects are immediately apparent. The six filters here are preset and can be quickly switched between. They highlight in yellow when active, and can have their brightness adjusted from here. To create custom camera filters of my own, I'll first deselect the filter, close the camera panel, and go to the Camera tab. From here, I'll enable post-processing, and the effect from the last used filter is applied to the camera. The filters in the camera panel are simply different variations of the options here in the post-processing options, and by accessing directly here, I can make adjustments to obtain the desired custom effect. I can add a color filter to the whole camera, vignette to the edges, or adjust various lighting options. These camera filters can have a variety of effects, but these aren't the only way to add impact to a final image. A bloom filter works by making any emissive appearances or hot spots on the model glow. Since there is an emissive material applied to the headlights, I'll adjust the camera to see them head on and enable the bloom filter. The intensity radius, and threshold can all be adjusted to get the desired effect. As a note, the bloom filter can only be seen while render is set to either fast or accurate mode. I'll disable the bloom filter and pan the camera to see down the side of the model. Depth of field is the next option I'll cover, and like bloom, will only show if rendering is set to fast or accurate. I'll enable depth of field and select a focal point. To do this, I'll click the eye icon here and select the headlight. Immediately, the pass count resets and the back of the model blurs slightly. To increase the effect, I'll decrease the f-stop, increasing the focus on the headlight. I can then change the focal point to the rear of the model, and the settings are kept and the model updates quickly. As a note, Rendering depth of field doesn't increase render time nor affect performance. The final option I want to go over is region rendering. This feature is used to select a small section of the viewport to render. I'll turn off depth of field and enable the render region. A highlight outline appears in the center of the viewport, dimming everything that won't be rendered with this option active. The box can be moved by clicking and dragging anywhere in the box and adjusted using the white boxes at the edges. Once set up, any render done with the region enabled will render only the highlighted area of the active camera, turning the rest either black or transparent. Since the region is camera specific, each camera can then be set up with its own region. 
the small section can then be easily combined with a previous render in photo editing software, enabling renders to be updated with small changes easily. The camera tab options allow for impressive creative freedom and added flexibility when setting up a render. Since all camera settings are camera specific, the camera can be saved locally from the bottom of the camera tab and then loaded into other projects to add the same effects.